Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and checking the core dynamics, the inner game in your system. And the specific target for this video is feel everything. You want to be able to access your feelings, your emotions. You don't have to run away from them. So I'm going to describe a little bit to you the inner play of emotions and feelings that can be happening inside of you. Suppose that you feel anger, for instance, or you feel frustration or you feel sadness. You can go like, oh, I don't want to feel that. I want to run away from that emotion. In the process of, the, of doing that, you are going to, to bury that emotion, try to bury, try to put lids on top of it, and then focus on something else. Try to focus on your work, try to focus on training or doing other things and avoid feeling the pain, avoid feeling the place where it hurts. And so for this transition time, for the next 30 days, while you are in the breakup zone, before you start dating again, there is a tremendous benefit in going and experiencing the shadow emotions that might be alive inside of you. Why is this important? Because the trigger, the energetic or emotional mindsets around those negative feelings that you might have are part of a system that is inside of you. And so if you try to push it away inside of you or you try to bury it in your system, at some point or another, it's going to come out to the surface again. In the next relationship, you might be exposed to the same situations and then poof, the pain is still there. The wound is still open. It didn't fully heal. So what happens when instead of avoiding the emotion, you feel everything, your system adapts. Your system finds a way to actually digesting the emotion. And we call that emotional release, energy release. It's like you feel anger, for instance, or you feel frustration or feel sadness. What you're going to do is instead of trying to get it, you know, quickly run away or distract yourself from that, get drunk or take some drugs or, you know, God knows what, you're going to lay down, lay down on your bed or on the floor or just stay present with the emotion. You stay present. You don't run away from it. And so you go like, you start feeling. This is emotional release. You don't force yourself out of that emotion. You just feel it. And you, go, and you observe the feelings. You go like, wow, there is contraction in my chest. I feel like, you know. And you observe those emotions. You observe these feelings instead of running away from them. So staying present to what is alive in your system, it's an essential aspect of the healing process. You become a witness to yourself. And yes, of course, you know, for instance, with anger or rage, you can go and start jogging or do something that is much more physical in the approach. You can do that as well. But when it comes to softer emotions, you know, things precisely like, uh, like sadness or pain or regret, you know, those emotions in your system, you can feel them. There is beauty in them. So the, the core idea that I use a lot is there is an access to light in every shadow. There is an access to bliss in absolutely everything. Even what you label as, as pain or, or suffering is just a state of being. It's just an energetic state. And so you don't have to run away from it. You can witness them, witness these spaces, stay present with them, don't resist them. And the moment you stop resisting them, in the moment you stop contracting around them, you just breathe, <sighs> then you start feeling and then you will feel that just natural channels of energy start opening in your heart and, and then what used to be like the pain, you cannot even identify the source anymore. You go like, you know, and I was sad, but the sadness is gone. And you realize that it's just a, a wave on the surface of your mind. There is much more to say about that specific thing 
because it's a therapeutic process, right? I talked about coaching and building up power. Now I talk about something that is much more therapeutic and soft in the approach. There is more to say about that, of course, and sometimes it might be really helpful to, to get some help, you know, have somebody holding space for you, whether it's a friend of, or a trained therapist, somebody that you bring into your life, or I can do that for you as well. You know, invite you to dive into these feelings and emotions without running away from, from them. So the core tactic here is this, feel everything. Don't run away from those emotions and feelings.